Shot is off the body, and it's covered up by Matalora. Marina and Conkle collided in front, and now a couple players hacking and whacking. Obviously Sawyer in the mix. And will he drop him? Yes, he will. Or are we going to have a scrap? And the officials and Damien Serma separate. And Sawyer still trying to fight off the linesman to no avail. And now Vanderbeek gets tied up on the far wall as this one's getting ugly in the final ticks here. And Sawyer still wanting a piece of Gordon Bell, is it? And yes, we're going to have a fight. Bell is going to go after Sawyer at center ice well after the play was broken up. And so they will center. Bell in his first pims of the season goes for a bear hug on Sawyer. Gets low on him. Neither side delivering. Sawyer a couple of right hands that miss. Bell trying to get underneath the arm. Sawyer to the back of the head with a short one. Trying to get that right arm free. Bell over the top misses. So does Sawyer. Fans getting something to cheer about here in the closing seconds. Sawyer to the body a couple of times. On Bell. Sawyer has him in a headlock, and now they are separated by the officials. Good strap between the two of them. Credit Gordon Bell giving up some size. 5'10", 190. Justin Sawyer. 6'6", 240. So give Bell kudos for standing up there. Justin Sawyer just ranked number two in the best of the best bowl for a heavyweight fighter. And so things getting interesting at the end of this one as Rapids knees down 4-2 to two with just 23 seconds left. So again, all this starting off the chance in front for Rapids City. Everything looked like it dissipated. Then all of a sudden, Sawyer and Bell just kept going. And Bell racing out to center to fight Sawyer. And well, that's why we had the tilt. And so we'll sort out all the penalties here.